So it's been fun this last holiday season, for some reason there with all of our children, it made me think back to the times of when I was a child at Christmas. And I remember the magic of coming down the stairs and turning the corner into our formal living room where my mom had put up the big tree and on Christmas morning having the magical stack of presents that Santa had brought. And they were very, very special because they had North Pole wrapping paper on them straight from the North Pole. They had been wrapped by elves. The magic was there. I had these beautiful tags that had my name written in calligraphy. And then there was another stack over here with all of my brother's gifts that also had magical elf wrapped North Pole wrapping paper. And then we would sit there and we had, we would go, I would open a present first and share it with everybody. And my brother would open and we'd go back and forth until all the presents were opened. And then second grade Christmas came. And I walked down the stairs with my brother and I, turned the ca and I turned the corner into the formal living room and I saw that every gift was unwrapped and like placed all around the living room. And I looked at my mom and I said, who did this? Did you unwrap my elf wrapped North Pole gifts from Santa? And she said, no, I, Santa must have brought them this way to delight you. And I said, Santa would not have done this. <laughs> there is no way Santa had, would have done this. And I picked up the gift that was closest to me. It was right by the windowsill, all alone, not in a beautiful pile. And I said, this is a knockoff Barbie doll that is unwrapped. Santa wouldn't do this. And so today, it's a funny story in my family. I think it's probably pretty horrifying for my parents at the moment. But that's the power of process. That's the power when we're going through a process. We talk about it in so many ways of how the process benefits us as the salesperson. It makes sure that we stay on our agenda. It makes sure that we, that, that every, um, that we don't miss anything, that we give everything that we need to our clients. But one of the things that we don't talk about as much is what the process does for our clients. What a gift that is that gives them that certainty in the moment. So it's not just our certainty, it's the certainty that we give them. And what happens when we're not following a process? When we're like, okay, today with this person, I'm gonna talk about this, the community first, and then I'll teach them something new over here, and then I'll go over here. What that really does for them is makes them so uncomfortable. And so what we're gonna share with you today is the perfect sales process. All right. Okay, so, so you know, to me, um, for the last 20 something years, we've been working in the home building world and uh, doing our absolute best to give salespeople uh, the, the most streamlined process that gives them that certainty that we're talking about. You know, if you think about when it comes to buying a house, it's all about moving away from pain and towards that life improvement. And our belief system is that a sales warrior is on a mission to liberate customers from any ambiguity that keeps our customers from making that decision. So it's all about giving them that certainty. And so uh, my team has been obsessed with making little fine tweaks, little improvements on the sales process from the beginning to the end. So the second you walk in the door, you greet the customer all the way to the end. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna play a game and I'm hoping it's gonna turn out the right way. So what we're gonna do is Mary is going to demonstrate uh, a sales process and I'm going to demonstrate a sales process and after each little section, uh, we're gonna ask you which one you feel is gonna give the customer more certainty. So which one's gonna give them more certainty, more joy, more ho hope? Which one's gonna be easier for you to give yourself more certainty and joy and hope to give our customer that freedom that they're all searching for are you guys ready to play the game? Yeah. Yes? All right, let's see who wins. Okay, okay, perfect. I said I was gonna use that, but I felt like it was gonna be a disadvantage. So, okay, here we go. Hi, I'm Mary Marshall. Welcome to Elkman Estates. We're so happy that you're here. I, you like that? That's good. Just got the group two vote. Um, so, what brings you out today? Your family's growing. I love that. Congratulations. So, what are you due? Perfect. Well, we definitely have some homes that we could get you in before the baby is born. So glad that you're here. So let's, let's tell me a little bit more about what you're looking for. Okay, three bedrooms, two and a half baths. An office would be great. Okay, yes, perfect. 
Good, good, good. Well, great. And you know, with your family, have I, I just wanted to share with you, I'm sure you saw it when you came in, but we do have amazing amenities here. So we have walking paths, we have a clubhouse, we have a pool. So it's a way that you can really utilize this area, keep your family all together. You don't have to go somewhere else. You can, you can live, play, work right here. So absolutely, that's wonderful. Tell me a little bit more. Wonderful. Okay, so definitely you, you want to have maybe a little bit of extra space for the grandparents. Got it. Wonderful. We have a lot of options, and I can't wait to take you through them. It is going to be wonderful. All right, great job, right? Give a round of applause. Winner. All right, All right welcome. My name is Jason Forrest, and you are awesome. So it's so great to meet you. Um, you know, there's a few reasons why people want to come look at us. It's either because uh, they love our awesome community center, uh, they love the fact we personalize our options, um, or uh, they love the fact that our elementary school is in our neighborhood and your kids can walk to it. So I'm curious, of those three, what really brings you out today? Oh, it's the fact that our elementary school is within walkable distance? That's awesome. So tell me about where you're coming from now, okay? So tell me about what you like about it. All right, so what is something you're wanting to change in your current home? Okay, so I got it. So besides us, is there anyone else that you're considering before you stopped in to see us? Oh, it's Builder X? So what specifically do you like about Builder X? Oh, you like the fact that they have the extra space and uh, you felt like it's a good value so far? Got it. So what was one thing that you wanted to change with Builder X? Oh, you don't like the fact that the houses are too close to the neighbors? Okay, got it. So the main reason why you're attracted to us is because of our walkable school district. Um, the, the builder you like so far is XYZ. Uh, the thing that you're wanting to change the most is they're too close to the neighbors. Does that sound about kind of what you're looking for so far? It does? Great. So based upon that, have you definitely decided to make a change and leave your part of town and buy a new home? Oh, you have? Okay, great. So uh, have you narrowed down that you're not gonna go with resell? Oh, no, you're still looking at resell? What about the other parts of town are you considering besides us? Okay, so you definitely, okay, got it. All right, so it sounds like you're a little bit overwhelmed with maybe the choices that are out there. So what we're gonna do right now, my main objective is I wanna narrow down the options for you because I can get really overwhelmed now that you're excited about, excited about uh, starting a home search. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go through the first model. I'm gonna compare it to what we're offering today compared to what you like over Builder X, as well as the thing that you're trying to get away from with your current home, and we'll see if we can find the right home for you. But I promise you, I'm not gonna stop today until I find the best home for you. All right. So, yeah, can I have you? Thank you, please, please. Okay, so just from, um, just from your own kind of hands and attention, uh, which, which process do you feel like is more complete, more complete, that would give you the best information to understand the customer's pain they're moving away from, uh, what they're moving towards, give you the most certainty, give them the most certainty that you're going to be taking them to something that's going to improve their life. So if you believe right now it's Mary's, then raise your hand. Okay? Okay, if you believe, you. If you believe that uh, the one I delivered so far was the best, okay, all right. So that is the first part the of the- The people that didn't vote picked me. That's correct, that's correct. <laughs> uh, so what's awesome about Mary's is that this is what we believe is a top 10% sales pr presentation. So this would sell you a lot of houses. And this is technically what I used to train about 10 years ago. And this is how I sold about 20 years ago. That's how I sold and that's how I made a lot of money selling the way that Mary's demonstrating. But it's all about every day and every way saying, how can I be better? How can I just make things just a little bit better? How can I tweak things to give myself more certainty that I'm going to improve my own life to sell more houses and I'm going to give my customer more life improvement to get them what they want as fast as I possibly can. So that's the ultimate goal. So just little tweaks. All right, so let's move on. You want to see more? Yes? All right. Well, thank you for sharing all of that with me. I would love to show you the bar top floor plan because I think it's going to be the very best one for you. It has everything that you were looking for, including some good separation between the kids' bedrooms and, and maybe the guest bedroom and the master suite. You're going to absolutely love it. And I want to take you through here in, in, in the main living space. You're going to see this beautiful kitchen that opens up to a living room and opens up to the dining room because I know you shared with me that one of your goals was to be able to have all of your family there for Thanksgiving. And so you have the kids close enough that you can see them, but far away enough that you can't hear everything that they're doing, which is perfect. And yes, the kitchen, it does get loud in there when you have, when you have the homework and you have kids helping out and, and all the friends over. And so what we do not need is one more thing making noise. So have I showed you these <laughs> soft closed drawers? Yeah, go ahead, hit it yourself. 
it's amazing, right? And if you're like me, you know, after you're living in a home and you're really making it your space, you're, you're, you're decorating it, you're putting everything in, that's where you want your money going, not to have to do any sort of, of extra maintenance on the home. So as soon as we get outside, I wanna show you the hardy plank siding where you're not gonna have to do that anymore. And so it's really gonna make sure that your investment here is worth it and that you're then spending the money where you wanna spend it. Um, I can't wait to show you the rest of it. This home is going to be perfect for all of your needs. Yay! All right, so the vision of this home is what I call the entertainment floor plan. And you'll see what I mean when I open the door. But uh, one of our customers, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, said that they were able to have um, their entire extended family in this home uh, in, the, in the most recent Thanksgiving. And so let me show you what I mean. And so this home is a 3,000 square foot. Um, all the bedrooms are upstairs, which allows us the most entertainment room on the downstairs. And so let me show you some specific things that you're gonna love about this home. Okay, walk, 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 walk. Great, awesome. So I'm curious, how does this home specifically compare to the vision that you had in mind? Because I know what you told me is you liked the XYZ floor plan over at Builder X, but the thing that you didn't like about them is you felt like the, some of the features that they had that you didn't really like that weren't included that I've shown you over here. And so I'm curious, how does this home kind of stack up to that one? Oh, it's better so far? Awesome. You also said that one of the things that you couldn't stand about your current home is that as your kids were uh, getting older, you felt like they were over, overcrowding each other and you wanted to have enough space between the rooms. And so how does this home compare to uh, the things that you don't like about your current home? Okay, so it fills that as well. Awesome. Okay, so based upon that, do you feel like this is the home for you or is there anything else that we're missing out on? Oh, you feel like it's, okay, it's too expensive? Got it, so tell me more about that. Oh, the other, the, other, the other builder you were looking at is $50,000 less than this one? Got it. Okay, so besides the fact that we're $50,000 more expensive, is there anything else that would hold you back from saying this is the floor plan that you feel like is the next home for you in the chapter of your life? Uh, no, that's it? Okay. Well, remember when we went through and we talked about all those things that you said you liked about our home, and I asked you specifically how it compared to the other builders are out there, and you said you had to have all of those things in the home. We went through one by one. Yeah, I remember that. Okay, well, all of those, those items... Those are additional upgrades over at Builder X. And so after you add all of those into your home, it's gonna cost you $60,000 over there, where with us, we're only $50,000 more because everything is included. And so based upon that, does that make you feel better about the fact we're charging $50,000 more? Okay, it does? Awesome. All right, so I know we first got started, you said that you're a little overwhelmed, but we definitely talked to you about the idea of the benefits of new construction versus older homes. Uh, we definitely, you definitely realize that you want this floor plan over the one that your, uh, the, the Builder X has to offer. And so based upon that, do you feel like we've removed that overwhelmed feeling uh, that you have when you first started and we've narrowed it down? We have? Awesome. Okay, so let's continue the process with the home site and the community and I'll make sure that everything works for you just in line and just with as much simple simplicity as we did with the overall floor plan. Sound good? Great. Okay. Okay, so, uh, so again, by a round of applause and hands raised, um, do you feel that Mary's would give you, uh, you, you and the customer, that certainty that you're looking for? Okay, raise no your way. hands. Do you feel like the one that I deliver would give you and your customer more certainty? Yes? All right. Okay, so that was the four. So there's five steps to understand the customer's mission, which we did when we first started. The second part was the four steps to present solutions. You're gonna do that around the floor plan, around the community, around the home site, around the part of town, et cetera. So all the different decisions that are along the way, you're gonna be doing it. It's real simple. You're gonna give them your vision, your selling message. Uh, then you're gonna compare, we call it a comparison 360. So how does this compare to what you had in mind, to the other builder you're considering, and to what you're coming from? Uh, then you're gonna handle any objections. In my case, I handle the price objection. And you're gonna close them on that relevant decision. And you're just gonna rinse and repeat until you get through all the decisions. So it's really simple once you get the cadence down of the, the formula, okay? You'd like to see the last part of how we close it? Yes? Say yes. yes. Okay. So thank you for sharing so much with me about what you're looking for, what your needs are, what's beautiful to you, what's functional for you, so that we could find the perfect home to meet your needs. And so I have so enjoyed going through this. And since 
you love it. Since the community you said is right for you and this home would definitely improve your life, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna head back to my office so we can write up the paperwork, put the house on paper for you, and get you signed up. Welcome home. All right, your round of applause. Yay! They all know that I'm gonna lose now, so it's like a pity clap. Okay, so again, that's an awesome, that's an awesome um, assumptive close heading into the sales office. Again, that's a strategy that I taught in one of my first books that I wrote many, many years ago back in 2008, and it works, and it worked back then. It's just, it's all about being a little bit better. It's all about just tweaking it a little bit more and that constant push for excellence. All right, so here's basically how it goes. Okay, great. So I know when we first got started, you definitely decided you were gonna make a change and you're a little bit overwhelmed, but as we went through, we realized that the uh, Benbrook floor plan was your favorite. You liked it more than the XYZ plan over at Builder X. Um, you definitely believed it was what you're looking for. We went through and uh, toured the neighborhood. You couldn't wait to be a part of this walkable neighborhood. And we picked out home site 34 that you thought was the best one for you. Um, and so what we need to do now is let's go back to the office and I'm gonna present um, some different scenarios for you. Cause I've been building that wish list for you all along. I wanna make sure I create the most customized um, overall home for you that would uh, give you the life improvement that you deserve, of course, right now. All right, so now we're in the sales office. Okay, so here's three different homes that I want to present to you, three total packages. So home A, or option A, is um, the standard package. And so that's well within your budget. It's gonna give you the floor plan you're looking for, and it's gonna give you um, the included home site that you liked. Now, just for a little bit more, we can offer you option B, which is gonna give you uh, the additional upgrades in the kitchen that you wanted, plus the bonus room, um, but you're gonna go with the standard uh, lot, the standard home site. But just for an additional 40,000 more on top of that, I could give you the options you're looking for, I can also give you uh, the bonus room, as well as I can give you that additional home site that you liked that would give you the extra room in the backyard that you thought was really important to you. So I'm curious, of the three different scenarios, which one do you feel is the one that you would say, this is my home and my family's home going forward right now? All right, it's this, the second one. Okay, so, so tell me more about that. Uh, the third one's a little bit more out of, your, out of your price range? Got it. Okay, does that mean that it's safe to say that we can eliminate the standard option, which is option A? Okay, got it. So right now, is it is really just between um, the, the option B and option C? Is it safe to say that you're definitely moving forward with us today? It's just a matter of talking about the differences of the upgrades in option C versus option B. Oh, you also were considering um, another builder down the street that you, I didn't even know about. Okay, let's talk about them. All right, so before we do though, let's just make sure we're clear on between option B and option C, which one do you feel like is the right one for you? Okay, so it sounds like we're definitely going for with option B. Option C is just way outside of your budget, totally get it. Okay, so tell me about our overall package here that we're including, what specifically do you like about us over competitor X that you're still considering? Oh, okay, so you like the fact that we're the Walkable Elementary School, all the, all the features that are included, got it. So what specifically do they offer that we do not offer? Oh, well, they're a little bit shorter on your commute. Totally get it. So besides the fact that they have a shorter commute, is there anything holding you back from moving forward with us today, as long as we're able to make you feel better about that? That's it? Okay, well, let's see if I can, if I can talk that through with you. All right, so, so, so one of the things that you said that you liked about us is the fact that we have all these included amenities. And if, if I can show you a different route to go, the overall commute is only gonna be an extra five minutes and heavy traffic, we're talking 10 minutes. But for an extra 10 minutes, you're gonna be able to get all these additional amenities that you can't get over at Builder X that is, yes, a little bit closer. Um, is that something that you can see, see the benefit of now? Oh, you can? Great. Okay, so when we first got started, you said the only thing holding you back then was the fact that our queue is a little bit further, uh, but you definitely agree that you'd rather have all these additional amenities for only a 10 minute um, drive distance. And so based upon that, it sounds like this is the right overall package for you. So congratulations, welcome home, I cannot wait to get started building your new house. And here's the coolest thing, is that we're gonna have this house built for you in time for XYZ holiday that's coming up. And what's really cool is that when XYZ holiday comes up, you're gonna be able to look back on this moment and know that it was the right decision that you made at this, at this very moment in this time of your life. Congratulations, <laughs> let's begin the paperwork. You really hammed that up at the end. I did, I hammed it up at the end. I decided yeah. to add a little extra. This moment is extra the moment bonus. you will remember for the rest of your life. Extra bonus. Extra bonus. Come on. Material. Okay. So 
All right, so, so again, I've been spending my entire life trying to create the perfect sales process. And I get it, I know it sounds extremely arrogant, but the difference is, is that, that if our process does not increase your sales performance or it makes you sell less, then I just, can, I just need to know and I'll make tweaks, I'll make adjustments. So the reason why I'm, we're declaring that we're on this perfect sales process path is because we're always making little, little adjustments, just little tweaks. You know, like for example, we first started, we didn't have the opening triple buying close, but we realized that was a better way to get momentum with the customer versus the normal question, which is, hey, this is Jason, what brings you out today? I'm just looking. It just, it stops momentum, it stops the position of strength. Well, the same thing, we realized that it's better to, that, that human beings want choice. And so if you do the normal close, which is the summary close, the summary one close, and you say, great, so is this the home for you? Well, immediately it puts this response in the brain that says, I'm not sure, I have to think about it. Because one of the things we need to know is if you give people one choice, there's no choices. If you give them two choices, there's choice. Three choices is freedom. And so by giving them these choices, you're helping them get through the process and the cadence of feeling like this is for me, this is my decision. And so that's the key to this whole thing. Now, um, is everyone ready to leave today right now and go immediately deliver your 543 sales process? Like you feel good about it? Yes? Say yes. Yes? yes. yes? Okay. <laughs> so here's what we're offering for you, which I think is pretty cool, is that, where's the- I'll, I'll click it. So all you need to do, because I know this is difficult and we have entire training programs that can kind of break this whole process down, but what we're doing is if you text this right here, IBS 543 to 33444, just like it says in that little picture right there, it's always hard for me to figure that thing out, is that, um, you're, that I've created a video of my entire monologue. That's kind of cool, right? So I have my entire monologue that you can play over and over again and you can just kind of mimic me and copy it and then make it your own along the way. Does that sound good? Okay, so you'll have that all for yourself. Okay, so how much time do we have left? Okay, just a little bit, so eight minutes. So a couple other things I wanna make sure, if there's one, if there's any questions on some details of, of the, the sales process that we consider to be the perfect sales process, five steps to understand the customer's mission, four steps to present solutions, three steps to resolve the sale. That was the process that you, you just experienced and saw, okay? If there's any questions, I definitely can answer them. Question right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. So five steps to understand the customer's mission, four steps to present solutions, and then three steps to resolve the sale. It's called the five, four, three factor. Okay. So, um, so tomorrow at the sales rally, uh, Mary at 2.30 is going to be speaking more on process, and we're going to be talking more on, on process, so definitely go to the sales rally. Um, I'm speaking tomorrow at 10 a.m. back in this room. I have a new book called The Mindset of a Sales Warrior where I go into the, um, the leashes. So we all have stories. So stories are things that we have external. You know, people aren't gonna move forward because the economy's not good or because Builder X is less expensive. Self-image, I just don't feel confident pulling off that sales process. It doesn't sound authentic to me. I don't know if you ever felt that before. That doesn't really sound like me. That's a self-image thing. Or we've got a, a reluctance, I'm a, I have a fear of doing something or a rule. I feel like I need to see, feel, or hear something before I can feel confident to execute that, like ask a person to buy or whatever it is. So tomorrow at 10, I'm gonna be going over um, the, the, those, those four types of leashes and I wrote a book called The Mindset of a Sales Warrior where I go into 42 strategies on how to remove that. And there's a, um, in your handout, you can also get a free copy of the book um, you just have to follow the instructions in the handout if you'd like a free copy of the book as well, okay? I know we're about to run out of time. What other questions do you guys have on the sales process? Come on, we're gonna get going. You know it's better, so you might as well, or you can challenge me, you can challenge, that's fun too. Questions? Nothing? Okay, yeah, keep going. Perfect. So people, so customers that won't to give you feedback. Okay. Um, again, the best thing to, for me to do in that situation is the most important thing in selling is, do you have position of strength? How fast can you get it? And can you keep it? So in that situation, we don't have position of strength because the customer is not giving us anything. Position of strength is whatever they like about us. So that's position of strength. So it's real simple, right? And so what I would do in that situation is I would, I would, um, 
just make, make constant offers. And so I would give them offers. So I would say, great, so I can't wait to show you this kitchen. There's a couple of reasons why people really like this kitchen. It's because either A, B, or C, you know, when you get into it, I'm curious what you would like the most about it. Okay, so then I'm gonna call back to it. So, hey, so great, so what stood out to you the most? Was it A, B, or C? And so I, it's an offer with like some choices, and then I'm gonna call back, and then I'm gonna make them, have them make a choice. That's the easiest thing to do. Okay, what else? Jason, can you talk about yes anding with that too and not fighting the customer? Go for it. Oh. <laughs> so anytime that somebody gives us, can everybody, this feels, can I have that? Feels weird. Um, whenever they give an objection to us, it's, we have a choice right then. We either battle them or we yes and them and we just continue on, yeah, I, I get that let's, and let's go that direction. Or, oh, you're not gonna sit in my office, you're gonna keep walking. Okay, yes, and I'll walk with you. Like, we'll go wherever you want. Um, and that way, it, it keeps us in rapport, which is being on the same page. It keeps us in alignment with them, but it doesn't have us in a battle. As soon as that, any times we have those feelings of, um, I want to, I want to flee. Like, I don't even want to be around you anymore. I got, I'll just, I'd, I'd rather be in my office right now than dealing with you. Or they say something that makes us want to fight them. I don't know if any of you've ever had those murdery feelings when talking to somebody, that can happen. Um, or the, you, you just freeze and you're like, oh God, I can't believe they asked me. I've been really hoping that nobody would ask me that, uh, which also if we're really hoping nobody will ask us that, it's the fastest way to have somebody ask you that. So don't think those thoughts. And so anytime we have that fight, freeze or, fl or flee mentality, it's, that, it's that, that time for us to take a breath, go, oh, okay, we're getting hijacked right now in our brain. Our amygdala is hijacking us. How do I yes and this? How do I just like jump in the boat with them wherever they are and, and go with them a little bit because once I'm back on rapport, ooh, now I can change the direction of the boat. Now I can start going. But if, but if, but if we just try to, 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 to turn them our direction, we're now in a battle with them. And we can't ever, if we're battling our customers, we're going to lose. Because even if we win, we lose because we battled them and, and they don't feel good about it. They don't want to be around us anymore. And so now it's just, jump in the boat, yes and them, keep going, and, and then you can turn them to whatever you want to talk about in that moment. Perfect. Just a yes and? Yeah. It just, <laughs> so again, it's all about keeping momentum. To me, one of the most important things in selling is that you just have that momentum, that yes cadence. It's interesting, you can yes a person all the way into the close. And so for example, as you're working through, um, whatever they say, you can yes back. And so if they say something like, Hey, so I'm curious, um, is this something that is included in the home? And then you would say, you would say, this is not something this is included. This is an additional feature that we can use to customize your home. Is this something you would like to add in your home? And I'll create a price for you before you leave today. So you see the, see the little technique there? What you don't ever want to be is the no monster. And that's like the worst is when you're going through and they're like, so is this included? No, sorry. Is this included? No, sorry. Is this included? No, it's a decorator option. We don't even, I don't even know where you get that. I mean, like that's like, that's, that's not a fun process to be a part of. And so it's, it's just always this attitude of yes, it comes from improv and it's just this very kind of positive perspective of always, of always kind of keeping that yes cadence. Okay. So I know we're out of time here, but um, again, please come up to us. If you have additional questions, we have a book called Why Training Fails uh, that we'd love to offer you if you'd like that book. WTF. Uh, WTF, which is what, is what it is. So, um, so we'll definitely offer that for you as well. You can text this, get my monologue, and then see us speak tomorrow. Uh, but again, the biggest thing I want you guys to leave with is that, that, that we're all in this for the same reason, and that is to give our, light, get our, give our customers freedom, to give them freedom from spending less and getting less from choosing an alternative that's not going to improve their life and the life of their families. And so, you know, you owe it to them and you owe it to yourself to master a process that is as easy and simple for you to get them through the decision process as well as to get them through the decision process. And so, so you owe it to yourself and you owe it to them to master that. So thank you very much. We'll see you next time.